Hi, I'm Dave from Mercolina, and thank you for logging on to Taking Care of Bending. Today, I'm going to discuss with you how to measure tube and pipe profiles. Tubing is always measured from the external or the outside of the profile. This measures inch and a half, so it's an inch and a half tube. And then the other measurement we use is the wall thickness. This is 120 thousandths thick. So inch and a half, 120 wall tube. The next one we're going to talk about is pipe. Pipe is measured from the interior. So on pipe, like this is an inch and a quarter gas pipe, I'll take my calipers and I'll measure from the inside, take that measurement, and it, that's the way we measure pipe. On um, pipe is measured from the interior, and then on piping, we have what we call schedules. You have schedule 5, 10, 20, 40, and on up the line. Before you begin any bending process, we highly recommend that you know your material that you're going to bend. The best way to know is obtain mill certifications from your supplier of your material. If you're unable to get those mill certs, you can call Ercolina or you can send a sample to our company and we'll help you with the best information that we have. The materials that you choose to use will affect the quality of bend and remember, not all pipes and tubes are created equal. There are many different bending systems available. Ercolina's rotary draw system uses two pieces of tooling a center former and a counter bending die. Using this method, we can accurately rotate the material and draw it through around the counter bending die and give you exact, precise bend angles, the most effective bending method on the market. Often, centerline radius, or CLR, is confused with degree of bend. CLR is the distance from the center of the forming die to the center line of the material to be bent. This distance often is overlooked, yet it is the most critical to achieving the appropriate bend quality. Degree of bend also affects bend quality. When working with new material, try making at least two test bends, one at 45 degrees and one at 180 degrees. You may see slightly different results in the work piece because greater bend angles produce more wall thinning and deformation in the material. All materials are prone to a springback effect. Essentially, material relaxes after the counterbending die, pressure is released. Most materials are slightly overbent during a bend cycle to compensate for this effect. 